Well, you know what? I appreciate everyone that, 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 that's, that's uh, tuned in, guys that have come on. Taking us out, uh, we had a question. I think it's a great, great question. I'm going to kind of build off of it. Can you take us out, each one of you guys, with a, just a funny story where you've had to deal with a heckler in the audience, one of your funny heckler stories? Somebody either that got to you or that you had to light their ass up because they were just they were doing too much. <laughs> I know it's kind of John, Johnny on the spot. Uh, but if you got one of those, I think it'd be great to take us out with one of those if you could think of one. Because every you've been to a show, um, and everybody everybody's ha been heckled at least once. So yeah. Look. So uh, for me, uh, the great George Wilborn, I never forget. He told me it's two ways to deal with a heckler: either you gone you gonna kill him, or you are gonna leave him alone. And so my first approach is always to try to ignore. Cause I want to, I want to get these jokes off that I that I wrote. And it was this. I was at the Laugh Factory up north, drunk white lady. Oh, she boy. just, she just kept talking all night, all night, just saying stuff. And I, I finally got on her ass. And I think she was with her husband. And I just went in and was just saying, I know he want to leave you and he probably got <laughs> another wife on the side. <laughs> and just oh. like, like I'm talking about, like I really <laughs> laid into a way, you know, and, and after the show, you know, her husband was like, Hey bro, I'm, you know, he, he was, he was apologizing and stuff. And he was like, she was so mad at him because he was laughing. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? But had you shut the fuck up, right? Yeah. I wouldn't say none of that. You know what I'm saying? But that's yeah. that's my funny story. But like you say, you know, when you got the crowd and and, and you can turn up, hey, you can turn somebody's husband against them. Oh yeah. Man, you know you rock it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, what about you, Rodney? Any any any, any uh, heckler stories? Kind of on the lines of uh, uh, M. Doves, I was um, doing a show in Oak Lawn, and uh, of course, anybody know Oak Lawn is there's drunk white women, and I'm not sure how. In, 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 I'm, I'm hearing a theme here. But, yeah. But uh, this girl just, I mean, she just kept going and going. I mean, completely wasted. She walked up and she stumbled, and I just um, yelled out like, um, I was like, somewhere it's a brother in the club waiting on you right now. Yeah, uh, the crowd oh, just man. fell out. Man. <laughs> Wait, that's usually how yeah, I go. A, another moment. <laughs> it was um, I was at Jokes and Oaks, and actually I was not performing, but I was waiting to get on stage. And when black people are pissed, this is from a heckler's point of view. They, I mean, you never know what they might say. So the guy was performing, and he like five minutes into his set, nobody laughing, and this dude in the back of the club just stood up and said. Motherfucker, I paid twenty dollars for these tickets. <laughs> Damn, that was it. He sat down and started drinking. I was, I was dead, man. I was like, I never heard of like they point across that quick, and he was done after that. He just, it was like an outburst. I was like, wow. Oh man, <laughs> Rodney, do you remember when Shucky Ducky came to I State and he bombed? I, I, I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so I, I was having one time. Shucky Ducky came, and I think he was. A, I think he was the headliner. Uh, guy, no, <laughs> it wasn't Joe Torre. Guy Torre was there. Um, couple, Craig got up there and performed. That was the first time I saw Craig get up there and perform. Craig Robinson, but Shucky Ducky got up there. He's supposed to be the headliner, and you know everything with him was oh Shucky Ducky quack quack. So his material wasn't going over, and he was supposed to do like 20, 30, 40, however long the headliner goes. And my man was up there about five minutes, and nobody was saying nothing. And he said, thanks, y'all. Good night. And they cut the lights off, and I was like, that shit was shucky ducky, whack, whack. And the whole <laughs> audience went up laughing. Yeah, so, so I, oh, I, I, I put cool. that asshole in the audience, and, you, know, I, you know, I respect everybody the crowd, but hey, the opportunity was just there, man. So I, I heard one time that uh, Chris, Chris Rock went up after Shucky Ducky and same thing, Shucky Ducky had gone up eating it, you know what I mean? And then Chris came up and said, Shucky Ducky needs some jokey wokies. <laughs> hey, that's that's you know, dedication to the craft, because hey, you know, to each his own. It's, it's yeah, yeah. for me. That's all I'll say. Yeah. That was of, when 
Yeah, brothers had the nicknames. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, thank you guys for being on. I want to say thank you to everybody that, that, that tuned in. I know we had a lot of questions, a lot of comments, a lot of feedback that I wasn't able to get to. Um, you know, that just goes to show that people were really engaged in this episode, really had some things um, that, they, that they were interested in. You, you can always go to the Straight No Chaser video clip of this and answer some of those questions on, on social media uh, when you have an opportunity. But this is what we do here at Straight No Chaser. The conversation is unfiltered. It's straight um, from the heart. You know, we have a good time. No, no, no topic is all subject. Nothing is taboo. And that's how we do it here. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to another segment of Straight No Chaser. Everyone, be well. All right, bro. Okay. Hey, good meeting you, Cat.